Paul from High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at AI Suite 2 by ASUS for the ASUS Maximus 5 Gene Z77 motherboard, which supports the 22 nanometer Intel Ivy Bridge processor. Included with the software package for AI Suite is an ROG theme, as you can see, that I have on the background right now. We also have a couple extra items that they include, which would be the ROG CPU-Z and another one of my favorites, which is called Game First. Basically what this does is it prioritizes what you set it to, so either you can prioritize file sharing, etc., or gaming, and you have the option on how high or how low of a priority it's going to be. So if we go ahead and open it, let's look at the settings options. We'll see our interface here, and we'll click on Voice over IP. As you can see, it already has some, some pre-installed settings. And right here, of course, is your priorities. And then if you want to get rid of that, you could always delete it. But by sliding the slider, it'll set your priorities to wherever you want that priority to be to save you you know to give yourself the maximum bandwidth when you're doing this also you have media streaming it does have in pre-installed media streaming uh, settings Windows Media Player, Winamp, Juice, Trillion then we have our games there are quite a few games pre-installed in here with their settings of course you could always set that again the priority to even higher and you could also add a game if it's not on this list so basically by clicking that going say into into your steam app folder and clicking Skyrim and by clicking this button here to add it will go ahead and add your launcher for you now of course Skyrim's in here already so I don't need to do it but that was just to give you an idea on how that works after you're done doing that you would click save or you could click undo below that of course is our current connections uh, monitor button which is a star and that shows you what local remote program your ports and the next one would be to set it into game mode so you definitely make your gaming the the highest priority also under options are connections this shows you your router connections on where you're at what's connected what's not connected you have some other options like disable traffic shaping favor ping time calibrate line redetect routes you can show your current connections again so disable traffic shaping just a click of the button and then actually on the uh, the game first icon you have your speed TCP count ping and latencies so these are other options that you could look at and when you're just say if I were to go and click on the internet you can start seeing how that's working you see your upload and download speeds etc it's a nice gadget to use I've used it in the past and it does prioritize your games and it does uh, does make for a little bit uh, better decreased latencies while you're gaming especially even when you're wireless because it I'm, I'm not very far myself from from my modem and I do like to play wireless a lot of times just so I don't don't have to go ahead and plug something in because I'm technically wireless around the house but if I really want to play wireless I can and that gives a great it's a great option and it's and even if you're wired to the uh, to the computer it's still to the router it's still going to give you you know your priorities and set your priorities even better to give you a better gaming experience and that's what it's for it's the overall gaming experience and it does work let's go ahead and take a look at AI suite 2 first first we'll start out with the regular on-screen display here you have CPU level up tool monitor update system information and then settings 
four settings, basically, all you need to do is click what you want to show on each of them. So if you want to shut system information off, you can click that off. You want to shut update off, you can shut update off. So basically, by either adding them or deleting them and clicking apply, it'll go ahead and set your settings for you. CPU level up. Basically the CPU level up is an opportunity to give someone who might not really want to go ahead and into the BIOS and really start tweaking. You just want just want to pre-tune, you know, do something and uh, performance tune your CPU or your system via what ASUS feels uh, are the best settings. So by doing that, you don't have to worry about changing settings yourself or going through the whole thing. ASUS has already done this. ASUS has already done this for you, and you have three options: 4.2, 4.4, and 4.6. Just click the start button and everything will auto-tune for you. We also have a manual mode for for our uh, overclocking settings, but that is not part of the CPU level up. We'll go ahead and show you see what that's part of, and that would be part of your turbo EVO. And that will give you your your manual mode. Basically, from here, via the slider, all you have to do is slide to adjust your settings, click apply and those settings will apply via the on-screen display. We have GPU boost here. GPU boost is basically for your internal graphics port. When you have when you are using that, if you want to boost the uh, performance of your internal graphics, which is on the Ivy Bridge processor, they, it is DirectX 11 now also. You could go ahead and tune that that way. And then we have our CPU ratio. Now, the difference between this and a couple of the other AI suites is with Ivy Bridge, they're giving you the opportunity to just enhance one core if need be. So as you can see, as I turn this, it's adding the cores or taking away from the cores. If you look to the left here. You also have OS defaults and a refresh button. And save profile. So if I wanted to name this profile one, I could save this as profile one, click that, it'll put it in the drop down box. Whenever I want to use this specific program by uh, profile, sorry, it'll go ahead and automatically load these settings for me. Next up we have Digi Plus Power Control. And as you can see, this is a little bit different than what you might have been used to seeing in the past. You're going to have three different options. You're going to have a Smart Digi Plus CPU power control and a DRAM power control. You could either click on that or you could click on the actual icons inside of the uh, in the side of the window. So the Smart Digi Plus, let's go to look at that. Smart Digi Plus is basically your CPU level up, overclock now, defaults. This will not only performance tune your your processor, but it will also performance tune your internal graphics if you have that connected. The next part of that is of course the EPU or the power saving mode. You could set your system on how much you want it to consume, whether it be 45 watts or 35 watts. Going back over, we could go ahead and look at CPU power. CPU power is much the same. You have your load line calibration slider, your current capability slider, CPU voltage slider, VRM fre fixed frequency mode. But at, right here, as you can see, there is something new. It's the IGPU load line calibration and current capability. We also have the CPU power phase control, which is still here, but underneath this window now. But you can also set your load line calibration and your current 
for your iGPU if you're using this now. Going back over, we could go ahead to the DRAM power control, and this will also now you have control of your DRAM. You could you could control your current capability, your voltage frequency. You could cha change your power phase from optimized to extreme, and also your thermal threshold. Sometimes by raising your thermal thresholds, you can get a little bit more of an overclock or a or a tune out of that specific product that you're trying to get to uh, to enhance. As I said, you can just click on one or the other and it'll bring it up. So you don't have, literally have to click on the bottom button. Now we'll look at the EPU, which is the same thing, but basically with EPU, you're going to have your different modes. You're going to have auto, you're going to have high performance and max power settings. And you have your different configurations here. Energy, convenience, and here we go. Once we click on configurations, you will notice you have an auto mode, which shows you your V-Core downgrade, the dynamic power management, your fan control, turn on and off, etc. You have your high performance mode and your max power saving mode. Each one of these you could do different things with. On the right hand side you'll see EPU status and you'll see sensor. The EPU status basically shows you your reduced emissions, time started, etc for your different your different areas. Coming out of the EPU mode we could now go into fan expert. I'm just going to give you an overview of this. Um, you could watch our other video that we have which is basically going to be on the tough motherboard which is going to be the the Sabretooth Z77 board where George will be going over Fan Expert a little bit more in depth. But basically now you could set name and do a lot of different things with Fan Expert too. What this could do for you is you could auto tune your fans just by what settings you have by clicking OK you could auto tune your fans and it will optimize your fans in your case whether it be your CPU fan, your GPU fan, etc. Uh, not GPU, I'm sorry, but your CPU fan and your case fans it will optimize them so that they will run at the proper temperatures for the proper speeds depend based on the temperature and the uh, performance that you're requiring. It does take a few, a few seconds to go ahead and do it. Um, but basically once it's done, click the next button and now you can actually name your fans. So of course you have different positions. Right now up on top for CPU fan, of course it says CPU fan, CPU fan position is CPU fan. We have a, a chassis fan second chassis fan and a third chassis fan. I have I actually have a chassis fan connected into the third port. So what I could do is search for that. It's operating at full. Fan position. I could go ahead and change that fan position to wherever I want to say it is. It doesn't matter where it is. I, even if I want to say it's in the front, I could change it to the front if I wanted to. And then click OK and you're there. You still have silent mode, standard mode, and turbo mode or you could set it to full speed. To the right of course we have our sensors, our voltage cores, our rails, DRAM, PCH, CPU, VC, CSA, CPU voltage, motherboard, what our CPU fan is uh, spinning at, what our optional fan is spinning at, and what a chassis 3 fan is spinning at. If you click on that icon up on the top, 
it's going to bring you to your to your graph which I know you're probably used to seeing if you're familiar with AI Suite 2 and once you set once you set that off of auto tuning you could go ahead and set set your parameters for your fan up and down by just leveling you know your your different temperatures so we have an easy mode and then of course we have an advanced mode now probe 2 probe 2 is basically unchanged what probe 2 does is it allows you to uh, allows you to change your thresholds it monitors monitors your voltages your temperatures your temperature thresholds your fan speed thresholds your preferences of course do you want it in Celsius Fahrenheit do you want a pop-up window and an alert log basically if something goes over it's gonna send you an alert you will save in a log or it'll it'll also pop up down here when you're exceeding one of your thresholds that you do set sensor recorder sensor recorder is the same if you're familiar with AI suite 2 it's basically going to monitor what you choose it to monitor and it's going to give you your line graphs so you can keep an eye on where your sensors are to see if maybe you might have a little bit of a droop here or there so that's something very good to to keep in mind also AI charger plus of course you want to charge your uh, your note uh, your netbook yeah, right okay <laughs> you want to charge your tablet go ahead and plug it in it's 3x speed and it works very well and then finally we have USB 3.0 boost that of course uh, George is going to get into a little bit more with his uh, his review he's also going to take a look at it via UASP and turbo from there we go into our monitor which we have our sensors which I showed I've shown you before and of course our CPU frequency basically CPU frequency is going to show you your frequency what core you can check the different cores if you want see the temperatures and the usage on them you also have an update button which will give you take you directly to ASUS update so if there's an update for your software you could do it my logo basically is uh, kind of in a sense a theme you could change it to your own theme so when you boot it up it'll boot up your logo we have system information that basically shows you everything about your system motherboard CPU and your SPD for your memory and then we're back to our settings and that's going to be our overview for AI Suite 2 on the Asus Maximus 5G motherboard Republic of Gamers thanks a lot guys see you the next time stay thirsty for the full review visit www.hightechlegion.com bye bye